bonus content intro. So this is a little bonus content from the smoked cheese pairing. After we wrapped that up, we decided that a uh, dad wine banana moscato might pair pretty well. So we've- uh, Shout out to my dad. Whoop, whoop. We've brought that out. We're gonna have us a little French dessert of sweet wine and not, I guess French desserts usually aren't smoky cheeses, but that's how we do it here in Redneckville. It's because we're making it even more classy. Her. But yeah, so the idea was that, you know, some sweet wine might be the answer to the smoked pepper jack, right? Yeah. Would you ladies like some manor muscat? I'll try it. I mean, I can't turn down dad wine. I want to pair this. Is it too sweet for you? I've never tried it. I was she thinking a even small, try it. small, <gasps> small baby right? set. Her father-in-law made this wine. Stuff. It actually doesn't Ooh. smell like... Ooh, it got some funk. Got some funk in the trunk? It's got a little, got a little funk. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. I mean... But I want to pair it with... No wafers. And pudding? <laughs> and pudding? <laughs> no, just no wafers. Mm. Taste it. You should. It tastes like vanilla. Get like a family sized box of vanilla wafers and we each get a, a can of ready whip. <laughs> <laughs> just like go crazy. <laughs> I don't hate it. I was worried because I usually don't like banana flavored things. The smell of banana is usually what bothers mm. me. But this is sweet enough that it kind of, I don't smell banana on it. Yeah, I don't really. It's got like no nose. I like that the banana is just up front, so at the end it doesn't taste bad. Yeah, it's not like a fake banana flavor. Yeah, there's like a light. It is like a, a banana, banana light, flavor. Like, almost like a, maybe vanilla, a hint of sweet wine. Yeah, just of. like a sweetness. Kind of makes me think vanilla, but it might just be the sweetness. I mean, if you're going to have a banana wine, it may as well be this color. Yeah. But at the same time, like, many white wines are this color, so. It's not, like, overly sweet, too. Like, I was kind of worried that, you know, with a name like Banana Moscato, that it'd be really sweet. Oh, that's pretty nice. I was worried, but it's it's a lot better than I expected. Just yeah. from the name, not because it's dad wine, because you know I love my dad wine. Well, yeah, I, I know exactly. Like, banana, okay. It's probably gonna be sickly sweet. Mm -hmm. Moscato. It's probably gonna be sickly sweet. Like I was worried it had that fake banana taste. Oh yeah. Like runts. Is... Like little runts, runts candy. But it banana doesn't taste like that. Coffee. Everybody knows what I'm talking about when I say Everybody that. Everybody knows exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, it's not like it's not super sweet or anything. So it's I mean I would say it's well balanced. I mean, it's definitely a sweeter dessert wine, but it's not, it's not over the top. It's, yeah, it's not, it's just right. It's not sticky. It's not, um, it's not viscous. I think I was expecting some viscosity, but it's actually got a nice thin body to it. Um, a little 10W40. <laughs> the, the banana is, nah, I mean, this, this is more like a 0W20, dude. <laughs> um, <clears throat> The banana's there, but it's not in your face. Yeah, I'm not about bananas in my face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this doesn't scream like only has to be dessert. 
Nice, a you know? nice porch drinking wine. A little, little porch drinking wine. That's right. That's right. Went good with those biscuits and fried chicken. <clears throat> All right. So the three smoked cheeses. All right. right. Yeah. So we got a Colby Jack. I got a sharp cheddar, and then I got a pepper jack. Indeed. And this one was the inspiration, but it's like, yeah, but we've got all three we've smoked got cheeses. Them. Might as well try. It. We've got the banana moscato. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. You are a classy. You know that? It's all and about more than just the name. Sharing the wine you brought. We're we starting with Colby Jack. Yep. Smoky yet creamy. I think it's safe to say the Colby Jack doesn't really, or the wine doesn't really stand up to the Colby Jack. Yeah, or maybe the other way around. The Colby Jack doesn't stand up to the wine. Maybe, maybe it, maybe it pairs well. It's just that the smokiness here. If you eat the cheese first and then take a sip of the wine, it kind of initially at least throws the wine out of whack and the smoke is lingering. Mm. But then if you go the other way, the sweetness from the wine jumps out a little bit more and the cheese just tastes weird. I don't know. I got the weird too. It's got a weird taste to it. So you thought it was weird going wine to cheese? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wine to cheese. Like the wine tastes good. The cheese tastes weird. It loses that creaminess. Is that what it is? Yeah. Like, I think it's, like, the smoke is more pronounced. It's more bold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's lost that creamy balance of the cheese, I think. I didn't get the smoke. I got plastic. There, there are similar compounds in smoked foods and plastic. Smoky food sometimes can smell and or taste a little plasticky. But because there are some of the same compounds. Mm -hmm. And we, I, our, our brains distill it down to something that we are familiar with. Yeah. So it's like, oh, yeah. well, this th this smells like a fresh plastic bag. Is that similar to like how you have a Hefeweizen that has no banana, but you get that banana flavor? Mm -hmm. That's what I figured. Like there's some compound in there that's like almost tricking your brain to thinking banana. So sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar. Smoked. And what what was the cheese smoked over again? It was, a, it was a hickory. Hickory. Yeah. Hickory. There's a little something a little something going on there. Can't quite put my finger on it. I was thinking I mean it's not huge, but going cheese to wine it brings out the sweetness. Going wine to cheese, it kinda cuts the sharpness of the cheddar. Which is weird because it cuts the creaminess of the other one. It's yeah. almost like it's Maybe it's not cutting the cheese flavor so much as it's pronouncing the smoke flavor. Wow, that's really enjoyable. That um, that kind of vanilla thing that you were mentioning early on there, I wasn't necessarily getting it so much then, but it's jumping out now. Going from the smoked cheddar to the wine, it, but the first first thing I taste when the wine hits my palate is like like a big glass of vanilla. And then back the other direction. I don't know, back the other direction. I'm kind of back into plastic world. We shouldn't have even had that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, wrecked my brain. Mm. On to... All right. Yes, the reason for the season. That's right. Pepper Jack. I like what's happening right now already. Yeah, I feel like the smoke really brings out the pepperiness of the Pepper Jack. Mm -hmm. Like, I eat Pepper Jack a lot, and it's just like, yeah, it's... Slightly peppery. Right, yeah. Jack. Like, you know, usually the slightest hint of spice. Yeah. Like, okay, like I can see the chunks of pepper in there, so yeah. I guess I guess it's spicy. But the smoke brings that spice out even more. To me, like with the previous cheeses, it seemed to cut the cheese flavor and bring out the smoke. And I feel like this is cutting the Smoke flavor bringing out the pepper. Yeah. It's like pepper jelly. Like pepper mm. jelly. Oh, oh, we're pepper. making pepper jelly in our mouths. <laughs> yes. Nah. <laughs> oh. oh. And you both love pepper jelly, so that I makes do sense. Love pepper jelly. That oh. makes perfect sense. Oh, my. <laughs> like a blast of sweet, a blast of spicy. 
That is. I, I had a feeling this uh, was going to be a good pairing, and oh man, I. Joelle, you nailed it with that one. <laughs> oh, it's like pepper jelly wine. It's a match made in heaven. It's so good. That's really nice. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm struggling for words, and not in a bad way. Like, I'm baffled at what is happening on my palate right now. Like, describing it as pepper jelly is the easiest way, but there's like so much more because the, the smoke is there and the, the vanilla and, and like subtle floral notes are coming through. Something's happening, I think, between the, the, the pepper flakes and the, and the fruitiness of the wine. What is that face for? That was, that was a very spicy blast right there mm. at the end. Yeah, Sip, sips of the wine bring that heat level up in the back of your yeah. throat. It kind of Even reminds me of... super mild, but... Yeah, I want to say it kind of reminds me of like every time we pair something spicy with a red and those tannins like just mm. kind of blow the spices through your mouth. Yeah. It's it's similar to that. Same kind is... of effect, but in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> Pepper jelly wine. You should just put that bug in your dad's ear. All right, you know that banana moscato <laughs> recipe you made? Throw some smoked jalapeno in there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some cheese rinds. That was good stuff. All right, thanks everybody for joining. Be sure to click like and subscribe and ring my bell for notifications that's right and please please comment tell me what you think of the content tell me what you want to see what kind of crazy pairings can you come up with what wine can we pair with jalapeno banana pudding <laughs> that sort of thing <laughs> put it in the comments <laughs>